Surfing, more than any sport, it takes a lifelong commitment. Um, you'll meet guys who spend their whole life surfing, and when you talk about what's the best part of their life, they're going to tell you it was the life of surfing. I'm 21 years old. My name is Zoe. I'm 18 years old. I'm Bea and I'm 22 years old. Hi, I'm Shell. I'm 20. My name is Tatiana. I'm 7 years old. We decided to come up with the Wahini Surf Camp uh, concept because the majority of people who take surfing lessons are girls. We wanted to give this opportunity where the girls will actually shine and also do their own thing without having to deal with any of the boys, the pressure from them. The Wahini Surf Camp has a lot of activities, not just surfing, and all of these activities are very beneficial to surfing. For example, uh, the first part of our program is the yoga part. My name is Kate Moynihan, and I'm a yoga teacher in yoga and surfing. I think match made in heaven. We have another exciting program, it's called Poi, and this is an ancient Maori art form that's uh, become popular around the world. And then there's also the visual element to it, which incorporates it all together. They, they really do well, especially for surfing and the whole beach vibe. Wherever you are, you're never too far. Surfing may seem easy when you see like, you know, veteran surfers in the water, but there's one factor about surfing that makes it very uniquely difficult and different from other sports. Riding the board is just probably 10% of surfing. The rest all goes to paddling. There's a lot of power, there's a lot of strengthening that's involved. It doesn't take one surf lesson to master this. It takes probably about 15 surf lessons to really develop your paddling. The secret to it really is consistency. That's why we're doing this in a constant day after day system where everybody's gonna really work out and it's gonna be sort of like a semi boot camp for the girls. Because when you're in the ocean, you're kind of scared, but when you're in the pool, you feel a lot safer. It helped with their paddling because apparently it's more difficult to paddle in the pool. Somehow we've gotten stronger. Natural na lang sayo, the movements. I practice ko yung kung anong foot talaga yung nasa front or nasa back. Kaya nung nasa beach na nakaride ako kasi mental note ko yung what foot comes first. Everybody should try surfing at least once. It'd always be that nagging item that you have in your bucket list that you just want to scratch out. When you just get that first, first wave all by yourself and it's really, really long, that for me was like the best feeling ever. Oh my God, when you surf, it's not like basketball, it's not like football, it's not like badminton. Um, it's a whole nother feeling. It's like you're walking on water. It's sort of like being happy and excited and you can't wait to get your next wave. You always want more, you know, in things. But when you reach that point where you just don't want more and it's everything around you, your environment is, is like on and you're happy. I think that's the most important. When you see that like waves are coming, like some people will go set and then everyone will try to prepare and like just really go for it. Oh my god, I was so stoked. Like I, I thought I was gonna be wiped out, but like I rode really, really long like, up until the shoreline. It was so cool. There's nothing like, you know, trying to battle the forces of nature and feeling more all powerful. I was like, whoa, I got to stand up! And I was, it was like so cool, even though I was still rolling under the waves. Not everybody gets hooked, but those who do get hooked, you know, it's, it, you're hooked for life. All I can tell you is that the stoked feeling we get is a type of elation that not, not, not much in this life comes close to it. Um, that's why guys will spend their whole life surfing.